It's August the 3rd, 2009, 10 past 11 on a gorgeous civic holiday morning. I'm down in Toronto's distillery district and there's lots of stuff going on here today. They have some sort of a, an exhibition of local artists that are displaying their wares. Lots of jewelry, paintings, silk scarves, people sitting and enjoying their coffee. It's a beautiful spot here in the distillery district. North America's largest uh, industrial uh, Victorian era complex that's been completely rehabilitated. It opened in 2003, I think. Very, very busy place with lots of um, galleries, shops, restaurants. Beautiful spot. Very, very popular tourist destination. Just going to give you a little walk through here. I'm here on my bicycle today. My chain just jumped off, so my fingers are all are all dirty right now, but uh, oh, somebody's setting up here. It's still fairly early, so nice day for a bike ride, perfect weather. One of Toronto's biggest festivals was just held a couple of days ago, Caravana. So there's still lots of uh, visitors in town. And uh, I'll give you a little walk up here. Such a nice spot and such a bright day. Got a look back towards the Gardener Expressway. See, now I'm making my way along Tank House Lane. This used to be the Gooderham and Wurtz Distillery, founded in 1832 by two brothers-in-law, one of Toronto's most important industrial complexes. I think by the 1850s, 1860s, it was the largest distillery in the entire British Empire. About 47, uh, I think certainly over 40 industrial buildings have been retained and restored. Here in front of us on the right hand side is the Mill Street Brewery, one of Toronto's microbreweries, very popular destination. Over here is the Boiler House. All the buildings are basically named after the formerly uh, the former distillery uh, operations. Here is the Pure Spirits Oyster House and Grill. Nice outdoor patios now. I think they've been taking some buildings down here in the back. And over here, I don't know what's uh, being planned for here. Now in here, there's lots of different shops, bakery, gallery. When you look back here, you actually see that some condominiums have been developed in this area. Here's the outdoor patio of the Mill Street Brewery. Nice little spot to sit. As you can tell, very popular on a weekend. Here's another gallery. The Burgo Gallery of Industrial Design. And yeah, behind here they're building something. Soma Chocolate Maker and Gelato Make Daily. And uh, yeah, there's a big construction hall back there. Definitely building something. And over here is actually a theater. which is called the Young Center for the Performing Arts. An example of great restoration of Victorian industrial architecture in Toronto. Has won various awards from different organizations and is definitely one of, one of the favorite tourism destinations in Toronto, the distillery district.